Fellow scholars, this is level 14, sheet J. It should say fluency, passage fluency three, and it should start with a log. So let's go ahead and read the instructions. Read the passage below. Um, so it says to read it with a partner, but you're gonna read this on your own. And I want you to read the words carefully and clearly. Pay attention to the punctuation and read with expression. So you're gonna be reading this, and if you come to a word that you do not know, you're going to underline the word. So say I'm reading along and I come to the word blur. So both girls take tiny steps to spin the log under their feet. Their legs are a blur. So I would underline the word blur. And then on the back, I would write it right here, underline it, and then I'm gonna look it up in the dictionary. So you're gonna need a dictionary for this. To find that word in the dictionary, you're gonna look at the top for the words that start with a B. Okay, so here I'm on the B's. Now I need to look for the next letter, L. So O comes after L, so I know I need to go forward. Ooh, L, so then, no, that's an I, sorry. L, there it is, blackjack. So then I'm gonna go to the next letter, U. So I know U comes after A, so I'm gonna keep going further. The O, B-L-U-E. So I'm gonna look down here for blur. Blur, a smear or stain that obscures something vaguely perceived, something moving too quickly. So I think that something moving too quickly makes the most sense because they are moving their legs. So I'm gonna write something moving too quickly. Uh, you should find at least two words that you do not know and define them on the back, one from each section. And then when you get done, I want you to answer these questions on the back. Number. Then one, two, three, and then don't worry about the star at the bottom. So, actually don't worry about answering number two because you won't be able to tell that on your own probably. So was the reading smooth and easy to, to understand? So you would write number one. So I was able to read this smoothly and I could understand the story. So that could be what you would write here or it could be the opposite. Maybe it was hard for you to read this and you couldn't understand it. So if that's the case, you would write, I was not able to read this smoothly and I could not understand the story. So you're gonna pick one of those two, depending on whether or not you read it, you felt like you could read it easily or whether or not you felt like you could not read it easily. Then for the last question, it says, what questions do you have about this passage? I want you to come up with um, two questions. So a question I have, question I still have is, why did something happen? What does this mean? Who is this? Another question I still have is blank. So you're filling this in with a question that you still have about this story. So actually you're gonna do the same thing for sheets K and L. So all three of those sheets are the sheets you're working on this week for word work, do not go past sheet L. You should only be doing three sheets per week. Once you finish these three sheets, you can finish up any work that you have uh, that you haven't finished yet. And then you can move to Lexia, MobyMax, IXL, or you may read your book.